I already washed, cleansed, and moisturized my face, so now we're just going to go in with primer. So today I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer in the Instant Pore Eraser. So next for foundation, I'm going to be combining two of my favorite ones. Um, first, I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in the shade Creamy Vanilla. And also the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage in the shade 301 Classic Ivory. And I love that this one has a pump. It makes it so much easier to get the right amount out. Just do a few pumps of the Milani. And just... You have this one. And I just mix them together on the back of my hand. Just dotting it all over my face. And I have been really loving this Morphe sponge to blend out my foundation. It's just really dense. I don't know. I really like it. So next for concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral. I'm just going to highlight my under eyes, got my nose, my cupid's bow, my forehead. And just going in with my beauty blender and blending it all out. Now to set my under eyes and bake, I'm going to be using my RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. I actually ordered these little containers off of Amazon because the packaging of that one is very messy. So now I'm going to go do my brows off of camera while this bakes, and then I'll be right back. Right now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Cody Airspun Powder in the shade Translucent Extra Coverage, and just taking my Morphe Beauty Sponge and taking the bottom part of it and just patting it all over. Alright, so now I'm just going to take my Morphe E48 brush and brush away the bake. Okay. 
So next I'm going to contour my face with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and just taking my Morphe E5 brush. Now I'm just going to clean up my contour, taking my RCMA powder again and my Morphe sponge. Just taking a little bit of that powder and creating a sharp line. Alright, so now we're just going to brush away the bake down here. So next we're just going to highlight and I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade, I believe it's that glow. Then I'm just going to take my favorite highlighting brush from Morphe, it's the R36 brush. I'm going to spray that with a little bit of Fix Plus. I'm just going to pick up the shades Bubbly and Drippin' in Gold and also a little bit of Sunburst. I actually like to set my face before I do my eyeshadow just so the foundation and everything is locked into place and my eyeshadow won't budge. So I just take my MAC Fix Plus and spray it all around my face. And then next I go in with my Urban Decay Dis Slick Setting Spray. It's for oil control because I have oily skin. This stuff is amazing. Just spray that all over your face too. I just prime my eyes with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot using my Sigma 3D HD Precision Brush. Then I set that with a Bone Collared Shadow from Crease to Brow Bone just to help blending later on. So now for the eyes, I'm just going in with my Morphe 350 palette. And I am going to be taking this shade right here and mixing it with a little bit of this shade and this shade from my transition color. Just blend that into your crease. Next, I'm going to be taking the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette, and I'm just going to be going in with this top shade right here and this a little tiny bit of this bottom shade, too. And top off. Just blend that into the crease as well. I'm also taking a little bit of this mustardy color right here and putting that in there as well. Next I'm just taking this shade right here and applying it all over the lid with my finger. Now I'm just going to go in with my Morphe 433 brush and just blend it in a little bit. Alright, so I just went ahead and curled my lashes and applied the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And then I took my Salon Perfect, it's in the style 614. 
Alright, for the next part, my camera decided to not record, so next I'm just taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy and just applying that to my inner corners just to add a little touch of glam. Alright, so next for lips, I'm going to be lining them with the L'Oreal Infallible Lip Liner in the shade Nude. Then over top of that, I'm going to be applying the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. And then just in the center of my lips, I'm going to be applying the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon. Alright guys, so here are a few pictures of the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.